In this video, I'm going to share with you how to exactly change the dual clutch transmission filter and also how you can do this for free. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the vlog and welcome to a fantastic and beautiful day here in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm at Bachman Chevrolet today and we're doing the first major maintenance oil change. And most importantly, what you have to do at 7,500 miles is the dual clutch transmission filter change. This is something new on a Corvette and only on the LT2 dual clutch transmission cars. So uh, I've told you in the past about not to burn your free oil change on that 500 mile oil change if you decide to do it. The 500 mile oil change is not something necessary, but it's, I think it's, I, I mean, you just, you just can never over maintenance your car, right? So I did it on my car, M multiple clients of mine have done it on theirs, stuff like that. And we're gonna explain why you don't wanna burn that free oil change here in a second. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button because about 80% of you are not subscribed. Uh, and make sure you hit the bell notifications because only about 17% of you have your bell notifications on as well. And if you like more educational content on stuff like this, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below and hit that bell and turn it blue. All right, we have to come all the way to the back of the building here, and they're just getting the car up on the lift. We're using uh, our alignment rack lift because of what we're gonna about to show you, and also this ensures that we don't lift it wrong and we don't have a car end up like this. So your first maintenance on the 2020 Corvette is due at 7,500 miles to the information that I received, they just pay for the oil change. Chevrolet pays for that, you don't have to pay for it at all. Which is why I've told people in the past, don't pay for that first oil change if you do it at 500 miles. I did my oil change at 500 miles, I think it cost me somewhere around 120 bucks, 130 bucks, I don't know. And I did not burn that first oil change. I did that for TJ Hunt as well, I didn't burn his first oil change, I actually had the dealership pay for it. And um, my standard operating procedures are proven to be very well because what I found out today was that first 7,500 miles maintenance, GM pays for the dual clutch transmission filter replacement. Now, I'm not sure how much this is. I'm gonna work on that and maybe update it later in this video, but they allow, they as in General Motors, allows up to $205 in charges to the warranty claim on this maintenance. That's pretty impressive. And I don't know why it would cost $205 outside of maybe adding those two extra quarts of transmission fluid for track purposes. Those we know are about 50 bucks a piece. So there's a hundred bucks. We got a little bit of labor involved. As you're gonna see here in a second, there's a lot of labor involved on this. It's a it's, it's ton of labor reading over the service information page on this. And there's a really big tip to not do something to screw this up heavily. We're gonna talk about that here in a second. So uh, yeah, so when you come in for 7,500 miles, you don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to pay for the oil change or the dual clutch transmission fluid. So let's get into it and I'll show you how exactly this gets done. All right, I'm filming this in reverse because I was busy when they brought this back here, but uh, the very first thing you have to do is undo all of these bolts. There's three different size bolts it looks like, about 20 different bolts or so that you have to take off and you have to take this access panel off first in order to get to the dual clutch transmission filter. Once we get there, I'll show you how that works and it's very, very simple. To kind of give you an idea of what we're doing here, we're removing this whole panel right here. So it's right where the uh, oil filter is, which is really cool that they made that so you don't have to uh, take the panel off to do the oil filter because I said there's about 20 bolts. Yeah, I was way off because when I was counting, he had bolts laying up here, he had bolts laying up here. See those right there? Yeah, I didn't see all the bolts yet laying back there. Uh, so I'm counting about 30 bolts right here. And of course, they're not all the same size as I said earlier, they're different sizes. But uh, this part right here, you're okay to use uh, power tools. So after you get all that stuff done, there are three bolts here and four bolts, four bolts. Uh, and uh, so we take those four bolts off 
this pops out, a little bit of fluid is going to come out. You don't have to do anything with that little bit of fluid that's coming out. And it's just a filter that goes right back in there. So after you get the fourth bolt out, we just do right here like so. <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe. First time it came off. We think. Maybe General Motors <laughs> had it off before I got the car. No, I don't think it's going to go. Oh, there, oh, it's coming a little bit. Oh, is it coming? It, I, saw, I saw a little bit of a uh, break in there. Yeah, it's close. There we go. There we go. So there you go. So that's how much comes out. Not a whole lot and uh, nothing of a big deal as far as having to replace that there. All right, so I just kind of was joking he's saying that, hey, we should get a flathead screwdriver and put up there and pop it, but we don't want to mess up the housing. So that's a big no-no. Also, another big no-no on this is no power tools, zero. Don't use a drill, don't use a ratchet. It all has to be a power ratchet. It all has to be hand tools to take these four Torx bolts off and to pry that off. It's gonna take a little effort, but you use your hands. Don't put a flathead screwdriver in there and twist it. You'll mess up that housing and it's a brand new transmission, not just to fix the housing. You have to get a whole brand new transmission, which is probably pretty pricey. All right, so now that we have gotten that done, he's gonna use this little dental hook and uh, he's gonna pull this straight out. It's, it's a little bit of a pressure, but not too much. And uh, you'll see this looks really clean because I forgot to hit record and we're redoing it. So he used his little dental hook, put your dental hook in there again. He put it right there on that right there and it pulled straight out really, really simple. A little bit of pressure, but didn't hurt it. So we put it right back in, just push it up, it clicks and you're good to go. So this is the old dirty one right here. So I don't know what we could do with this. I don't think there's uh, any way we can see if there's any shavings or metal in there, but uh, that's what it looked like coming out. And you saw the new one that we just put in really nice and white. So when we reinstall this, I just showed you those four new bolts. You also put a new O-ring on this as well that comes in the package I missed when I opened that up earlier. And uh, yeah, very simple. Oh, cool, it stays up there. Yeah. You don't have a bolt in there? No. Nope, so it stayed up there. That's pretty awesome, yeah. nice. Makes it simple to uh, get that up there and then try to get a bolt up there at the same time is difficult, it's a tight spot up there. Clearance all day long. Look at that. That's with the raise up on the front lift. Not an issue. Very simple. All right, guys. So there you have it. We're finishing up the dual clutch transmission filter change. Now, this is done every 7,500 miles. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, throw it down in the comment section. I read every single comment here, which is why I heart every single comment. Unfortunately, I don't have all the time in the world to respond to all of them, but I do read every single one of them. So thank you so much for all your kind comments. And if you'd like to see more educational content like this, throw it down in the comment section below and down in the description below is vlog idea link. So if you'd like to see more vlog ideas that you would like to see on this car or anything in the car business, click that link and fill out that form and I'll do those as well. Guys, thanks again for watching. Have a great day and drive safely.